Hey guys, what is up? What's going on out there today? Hey, Brian Abel here, webtennis.com. Another episode of What's the Right Shot? Uh, yeah, we continue with the Mark Vines theme this week. And here's what I want you to be thinking about. Is when you serve out wide, the first thing you want to do is you want to start looking, when you stretch that returner out, looking for something short. What can you do to take their time away, knowing that if they give you some pace, that's kind of good, right? Because they've given you pace and now they're still out there. So even if they play a great deep return, relatively deep like this, your job is to make them run, number one. Let's get them over there. And now let's add the degree of difficulty on their shot besides having to run over there with the fact that they've got to thread the needle as they, as they play their shot. And look, and if, you're, if your approach is deep, right? And look, I'm not saying the way that Mark plays this is easy. It's not. But I love the fact that he plays it flat because... He doesn't take a lot of it doesn't take a lot of pace off the ball by doing that, right? Whether you top it or whether you, you know, hack down on it with with a slice, you don't take away a lot of the incoming pace. And in fact, if you just leave the racket there as kind of like a mini backboard for a second, let the ball compress against the racket, you can control the depth. And in this case here, taking time away and then presenting yourself up there right around the tee in terms of challenging that opponent. Hey, you got to You got to thread the needle. Very often, this is the result right there. So even though it doesn't show up in the stat column as a winner, it does show up in terms of, let's say a forced something. You, you can come up with a good term, you know, forced error. I don't know. But it's more mental to me than anything else. I mean, if you were to take this opponent and challenge them with this shot that they've got to deal with right here, they're coming in. But you're not where Mark is, right? You're not about to hit the the tee in terms of the court. You're still back in this area. Now, all of a sudden, that shot becomes like just all day long. It becomes an easier ball. And the chances are it's going to come back. So <clears throat> it's going to come back and stay in play. So you got to be, you got to be thinking that, that just your presence up there creates a high degree of difficulty for just getting that ball back in play that's not a fat sitter, right? And there you have it. So let's go ahead and we'll play this thing in real time again. But... Uh, yeah, anytime I serve out wide, especially being a righty, if I serve out wide of the do side, um, is I'm looking for that opportunity to take time away and then present myself up there and just say, you know what? Yeah, I think once in a while you're going to pass me intentionally or not, but most of the time I don't think you will. And I also think that you might be getting the ball back in play, but I think it's going to be an easier wide open court volley. So guys, there you have it. Look, uh, any questions, any comments, remarks, feedback down below in the comments area, let me know. Uh, if you want to keep the conversation private, we can certainly do that. Just shoot me an email, brent at webtennis.com. It is time. And look, I got a couple more messages for you coming up right after this video. Um, but it's time. Yeah, we all got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, See you again next time. Highly recommend Mark's senior tennis camps over at Set Camps. 
Best way to get in touch with them, get more information, mevtennis at hotmail.com. Really hope today's episode was helpful for you. If so, please click that like button on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell as well. So you are always alerted every time I go live and or upload new content. And yeah, if you've not picked up my course yet, 20 minute private video on the four parts between points routine, you got to get on this thing. It's a huge difference maker in your game. 80% of the time when we're playing a match, guess what? We're not playing points. That time is spent between points and on side changes. And when you manage that time really well, you tend to consistently play the other 20% of the match, which is, yeah, during the points, you tend to play at the very top of your skill level, point after point after point. Go on over to webtennis.com, drop in a first name, email address, and you'll get immediate access to that private free video on my very specific four parts between points routine.